Now welcome to a short video on the calculation of a non-constant gross stock using the TI-84 calculator. The math behind it is not tricky. It's the same math we use to determine the net present value. It's the setup of the problem that's usually difficult for many uh, students. So let's first go ahead and read this problem. Now the current dividend, that would be D0 on a stock is $2 per share. Investors require a rate of return of 12%. That would be RS or RE, depending on which textbook you're using. Dividends are expected to grow at a rate of 20% per year over the next three years, and then at a rate of 5% from that point on. Now find the price of the stock. And here's the setup. Uh, I put the line kind of going up, considering that uh, hopefully the stock will increase in value. And I start here at D0 at $2. And now what I have to do is uh, somehow price in a 20% growth rate when we re only require a 12% growth rate. And I have to kind of swim through the time in which the growth rate is higher than the rate that I require until the stock comes to a point in which I can use the constant growth rate, which would be at 5% because it would not make any sense just to use the first dividend in essence telling the company I understand I'm getting a 20 percent return but I only need 12 percent so let's go ahead and see how we'd set this problem up uh, I'll go ahead and place my D zero at two dollars and I'm gonna give my entire growth to the two dollars because I have nothing else to grow it to so if I want to grow two dollars at 20 percent it's just a simple future value problem 2 times 1 plus R, which would be 20%, is 2 times 1.20, gives us $2.40 for our cash flow at D1 here. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply it one more time by a 20% growth rate. So 1 gives me back my 240 times the 20%, which would be 1.20, gives me my second cash flow at 288. Now it's still growing because it's growing at three periods, so the third year it grows again. So I take my 288 and multiply it by the $1.20, giving me 34656. I'm going to go ahead and leave it this way. It gives a more accurate reading. And now at this point here, we see that it's constant. So if you remember the constant growth rate formula that says if you can find the uh, price of the stock one year from now and divide it by RS minus G I can find the price of the underlying stock is what I do here so 3 4 5 6 times the 1.05 gives me a, the dividend at D4 is 36 to 88 and if I divide that by my RS which was 12 minus my uh, my G which is 5 or 7 percent here I get a stock worth $51.84. Now no calculator will allow me or even Excel to put two numbers in for one cash flow. So what I do in essence is multiply, or I'm sorry, add the $51.84 plus the $3.4456, not the $36288, but the $3456 and get a CF3 of $55. 296. Now I'm going to bring up my calculator and again we're using the net present value function so I'm going to go ahead and hit apps, finance, and now 7. We usually use 1 and 7. Now here's our net present value and I start with rate which was, sorry, try that one more time, apps, 1, 7. And our rate is 12%. I have to put a comma here, so depress the comma. Here's my initial outflow, and that's what we're looking for. So we'll put zero because when we hit the answer, it'll replace zero with what the stock price should be. And I'm going to hit the comma again. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my brackets. I'm going to put these brackets first, and then I'm going to put second bracket, and I'm going to go ahead and put my first cash flow, which was two dollars and forty cents and I'm gonna put a comma then we'll put my second which was 288 and comma and then my third one remember my third one was the dividend 
plus the stock price here because in essence you can sell the stock therefore the value of this stock at this point is all the dividends you receive plus the stock price which was 55 two nine six and I'm going to close my brackets by hitting my second close and then close them one more time with this bracket and now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter I don't have to hit alpha enter like I do the other problem just hit enter and I get forty three dollars and seventy nine cents or round up to forty three dollars and eighty cents now here it is done longhand using uh, time value of money concepts here and we get $43.80 as well.